Hi chosen few expats, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us. My name is Alonzo. If you're moving abroad or moving to Panama, some questions you should be asking yourself are, can I get a bank account in Panama? And if so, how do I set up a bank account in Panama? You should also be asking, how can I transfer funds from my US bank account to my Panamanian bank account? Well, these are questions we're gonna answer for you in this video. When it comes to banking, Panama is recognized as having one of the world's best banking systems. For the last 30 years, it's been the top international banking center in Latin America. And actually, it ranks as the 11th safest banking system in the world. Panama has also been recognized as the Switzerland of Central America and South America. The banking sector has been poised for so much growth over the last several years that it now accounts for 10% of their gross domestic product. So the banking se uh, sector in Panama is very, very strong. One reason why it's safe is that uh, there's no central banking system in Panama. So unlike in the U.S., there's no bailout coming if something goes wrong. So there's no FDIC or anything like that. So these bankers are really, really conservative when it comes to their lending. So that's one reason why Panama has some of the safest banks. So when you ask about can you set up a bank account in Panama, the answer as a foreigner is yes. Yes, you can. Foreigners are granted the same rights as Panamanians when it comes to opening up a bank account. Uh, so in order to do so, you're going to need four things. You're going to need your passport. You're going to need a state issued ID like a driver's license. You're going to also need a bank reference letter. And this is a letter on bank letterhead um, that has to be signed by the manager. It's basically stating your account has been active for X number of years and it is in good standing. So you're also going to need to bring some proof of financial solvency. So you can bring this um, by bringing W-2s or tax returns or any kind of checks that you've received, any recent pay stubs, any kind of contracts that you have from your recent jobs or your businesses um, and things like that to show your financial solvency is going to make the process go a lot smoother. <clears throat> so one of the advantages that you have um, with a Panama bank is that in their savings account, the interest grows at a rate of three to three and a half percent. Um, and this money is not taxed by the Panamanian government. So that's very good. Um, you can also deposit, um, this may vary bank to bank, but at the bank that we looked at, um, it was $3,000 a month you can deposit uh, of your checks from the US. So you can bring your own checks from the US and deposit those into your Panamanian bank account. So that's a pretty good deal right there. And they also issue you an ATM card. It is an old school ATM card. It's not a debit card or, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a like a visa check card or anything like that, but it's called a Clava card. It's an old school ATM card strictly for withdrawing money. They do give you um, visa cards or MasterCard check card also upon request, but that takes a couple of more business days to get. Now, in order to open our bank account, we had to make an initial deposit of $1,500. We have heard from some friends that they were able to open up bank accounts for a lot less um, money, but they already had their cedula. They were already uh, citizens, basically through their visa process. So they may have been given some breaks or something due to that. I'm not really sure, but um, so you can expect for that to vary the amount that you'll have to deposit, but you can definitely absolutely open up a Panama bank account. A lot of people would choose to wait and do this through their immigration lawyer and through the visa process, but it's something that we wanted to get started on um, and not wait until then so we could start transferring money and moving money down there. And the other thing is you don't even necessarily need a bank account. Uh, you can get one if you want to. A lot of expats don't have one. You can just go to the ATM and withdraw from your U.S. bank account just like you do now because Panama's currency is the Panamanian Balboa, which is pegged one for one with the U.S. dollar. Um, so... Their official currency is not the U.S. dollar, but it's pegged one for one with the U.S. dollar, and they use greenbacks in circulation in Panama. They ceased uh, making production of Panamanian Balboa paper money a long time ago. They do have one dollar Balboa coins, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies like we do, um, and they also use U.S. quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, uh, but they just don't have any of their own paper money in circulation there. So you may be wondering, well, if something were to happen, if the dollar was to ever get devalued or some economic crisis or war breaks out in America, what happens to the dollar? What happens to the Panamanian Balboa? Well, since their official currency is the Panamanian Balboa, they can decouple from the dollar at any time. 
So this is one great concern I have over a place like Ecuador, which is a great expat destination people are looking at. But Ecuador, a couple of years ago, declared their official currency as the U.S. dollar. So they're joined at the hip and there's no breaking away. So Panama has a safety net when it comes to that. So that's one very attractive thing about it. And then also you don't have to deal with any kind of um, exchange fees. If you were drawn out of the ATM, you don't have to worry about getting screwed over with exchange fees. If you're making any kind of transaction there, you, you know what a dollar is worth. So you know the value of whatever it is you're buying. So it's a lot easier for you to, um, to tell whether you're getting a good deal or not. So now that you know how to set up your Panama bank account, the next question is, how are you going to transfer your funds from your U.S. bank account down to your Panamanian bank account? And so the best platform we found for this by far is a platform called Payoneer. So what Payoneer is, is that they will set up for you a U.S. bank account. They give you a routing number and an account number. And then what you would need to do after you register is go into your PayPal. And then you set this up as another bank in your PayPal. PayPal will then send a couple of small payments to Payoneer, like nine cents, seven cents to make sure that is good you go back into your paypal you verify the account is good you can now move funds from your paypal to your pioneer because one of the issue with panama is that um, panama banks do not currently accept deposits from paypal they're not there yet so paypal is something that we widely use here it's been a great tool for us but pioneer is even better has a lot better features um, so the way that this is going to work is you can move money from your u.s bank account to your PayPal uh, for free. You can move your money from PayPal into Payoneer for free. Okay. Then now that your Panama bank account is set up, you can go into your Payoneer and put that account number and routing number in your Payoneer. And you can move that money from Payoneer directly into your Panama bank account. Now Payoneer does charge, we've seen so far, a flat $15 fee for various amounts that we've moved. Um, so they do charge a $15 fee, and then our bank on the receiving end is charging $21. So that's $36. You may say, man, okay, man, they're taking this money from me. But if you're going to do an international bank transfer or international wire, it's going to cost you more than that, probably around like $50 or $60. So it's a much better option than that because you don't have to physically walk into a bank to do an international wire transfer and it takes like 40 45 minutes for them to go through all this paperwork on an international transfer it's not like anything we're used to with a domestic transfer that we used to do take 10 or 15 minutes most of us are not even um, used to doing that anymore because now you have platforms like zelle and things like that you can just transfer money from your account to another person's account without even having to go to the bank so this is what pioneer allows you to do for international wire transfers into your account and that is absolutely invaluable okay so um, it does have a couple of other great features um, the one big thing that they do is that upon your request they will open up accounts for you in all these other countries I think like eight other countries see if I can name them here so Japan Australia Singapore uh, Great Britain Canada Mexico and Germany and so now you are sitting here with accounts in all these different countries uh, bank routing numbers, account numbers, all these different countries and all these different currencies. So you can take your money that's in your Payoneer account and disperse it into any of these other currencies. So this is a way that you can protect yourself, spread your money around. If you are of the belief that something could potentially happen to the dollar or, or even if not, you know, it's just smart to protect yourself because of currency fluctuations um, to have some things spread out. So it gives you a great option for being able to do that. And the other thing that uh, Payoneer does, of course, they will issue you a uh, Visa, not a Visa, a MasterCard check card for your U.S. account. Um, but upon request, now they have available for Canada, uh, Great Britain, and uh, Germany, you can request a card for those accounts also. So when that card comes, say like the Great Britain card will have GBR on it for, I mean, GDP for uh, British pounds, and the German card will have on it euros. Uh, for euro so you can just use those cards um, for purchases you can go to the ATM or draw money now in that case it's going to hit you with a uh, conversion fee so you wouldn't want to do that unless you had to you want to try to stick with your US dollars if you can but those are funds that you would have available to you in those various Payoneer accounts should something go awry or should you need to, to access that money so that's a fantastic tool to have um, you can also transfer money 
from one person to another, if another person has Payoneer in the same way you can transfer uh, with PayPal. So the other thing with Payoneer is that there's no limit to the amount of money you can transfer. Uh, one other thing we should mention regarding Payoneer is that it's set up really for businesses. It was the intent to have this thing set up to where people can be paid in certain currencies if they have businesses established in other countries, their customers can pay them in that currency. And so that's pretty much why it was established. It's really not intended for personal use like this, to be moving money like this on a personal level, but basically we're just kind of using it to work, work around it. We do use it for business purposes because we do have products on Etsy and Amazon. So we do have payments coming into Payoneer directly from Etsy and Amazon and just bypassing our um, US bank account and PayPal all together. But you can still use it they're just gonna ask you to set up a business profile. It's like a one page form you have to fill out. So I know some of you may not have a business, but if you don't, like I said in the other video about how do I get a job in Panama, it's time to start one. So um, you can start a business or come up with an idea, whatever your idea is, and fill that out in the, um, in the business form on Payoneer, and then they'll allow you to set that account up. So um, also, full disclosure, we do have an affiliate link down in the description below. So if you use that affiliate link um, and you deposit up to $1,000, we get $25 and you get $25. So it benefits both of us. If you choose to use it, great. If not, I still highly recommend it. Um, you should still check them out and investigate it. It's by far the best way that we found to move money between accounts internationally. So if you like our video, please subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you can be notified of our future videos. If you like our content, please leave us a thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate you all for joining us. Let us know down in the comments below what you think of these capabilities with Payoneer. Or if you're uh, aware of any other ways that you think you can transfer money internationally that we haven't considered. Um, and we'll get that information out there. So thanks and we'll see you all next time.